sweet. This is an e-brake handle from a big box truck. 86 Fiero! Okay, well I had the uh, Fiero e-brake handle and I had that box truck e-brake handle. I didn't like the plastic on the Fiero handle. Call me crazy. Cut the handle short. I cut up that box truck uh, e-brake level that level that didn't work. And I made them into one. This is a combination of the Fiero and the box truck. And uh, there's a rod in here with a little call I had to grind off so it would slide up and down instead of being threaded. I uh, connected it inside. There's actually the rod comes through and it screws into a nut, and the nut is welded to what was the trigger for the Fiero handle, and uh, it works. Let's see. Now it's all the way up. You push the button, goes all the way back. Can you beat that? Look at that weld. Okay, here it is in the vise. Aluminum handle, aluminum button. You pull it up. You pull the lever up. Keeps the cable tight, goes like that. Now you want it out, you lift it up, push the button, and it comes back down. Cable loose. Too easy. Two for one special. Not hard. I mean, not hard at all. You can see the nut in there. The nut's welded to the Fiero, and then the knob just threads into the nut. Not that hard. Uh, and then we got it surface welded on one side. I had to trim it a little on this side so it will go all the way to the floor. Not a big deal. Too easy. All you gotta do is figure it out, man. Well, I found a piece of bed rail, and I cut it the right length, welded it to the back. See how it's flush in the front? I'll show you. Pull it all the way back. Can't one hit, of course. Here we go. It's all the way back. Be like that. It's plug welded. It's corner welded. Look at that nice weld, huh? It's welded up here. Links. Uh, having fun. It was pretty cool combining uh, two to make one. I like the handle. You no, know, an old machine look. I didn't like the plastic thing, but I had to make it mount like. Uh, see, it's like an angle. It's got to go down under that first um, center cross member where the exhaust is, and that's kind of tricky. You look at it, look at it, study it, and then you go, I know what to do. And then you just start cracking on it. Looks like a flight stick. It is an airplane, right? Well, not a big one. Not a big job, that is, but a fun one. Here's the emergency brake cable. The cable's down on the floor right now. Um, why would I use flathead screws? These are like number three Phillips screws. Um, place I worked at used to change hundreds of these things, if not thousands. Um, it holds a, a, a big motorized thing down and I looked in the hole and there they were. So that's what I used. A couple washers. Actually, the washers are part of the bolt. It's kind of funny. But 
Um, this piece is coming out, if you remember these pipes. That's just an extra that was holding it up. And once that's out, man, that's all it takes. Pull it up, press the button, release the parking brake. Uh, you might think it's close to the pedal. It's really not. It's kind of an illusion because this thing's holding it up. Uh, I tried and tried all kinds of different angles, and you know what? I was like, why, why mess around with trying to put it on the body, and then you got to crawl in and need to put the cables on. You can stand this thing straight up, make your floor, set the body on, and make a little slot with a piece of rubber. Hold on. Got to take the body off, do the same thing. Real easy. Um, this, like I said, was a combination of the Fiero assembly, um, the box truck assembly, and that's just a piece of bed rail that I had welded it to. couple things to take care of. Um, the alternator bracket now uh, fits good and everything, but I noticed that the belt is kind of aft a little bit. The alternator sits back about half an inch. Uh, I'm going to make a spacer to go by that cast iron bracket. And Dad had made me some uh, nylocks. Now these, uh, these are three quarter. They're really thick. I mean, this thing's normally twice this width, this nut. Um, there's one right there. I'm actually going to take that one out, cut the bolt shorter, put one of these in there. Alright, so let's have some fun. These are quarter inch thick. They're really hard, hard fiber washers. I know that they're, they're high temp. And I put one down and the bolt was a little long, so I was like, you know, it won't hurt to put two. So I put one on the back, one on the front. And uh, these came with a lathe that I owned years ago. And they're on this little, they're all screwed together. I had like ten of them. I've used them for everything. There's two left. But hey man, that's one step closer. I could probably, uh, I want to take the body off. I want to take the firewall off. And I want to cut this piece out. It's not too hard, but it's pain in the ass to pick it up. I want to take the floor pan off and I want to finish the emergency brake. Uh, I know where my battery's going to go. My friend Chris is going to give me a bunch of uh, oak slats for hardwood floors. I'm going to make the center section all hardwood. I'm going to make the back all hardwood. Uh, it's like, I don't know, 7, 8 o'clock. i got to put the roof back on my Jeep and do a few things around the yard. Okay, have a good night.